What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another uh, Legacy Cube draft here on Magic Online that fired pretty instantaneously. First pick treachery. I'm pretty sure that's where we want to be. I don't think any other pack, I think any other card in this pack is anywhere near the power level of a treachery. Look, he wants more. He's never satisfied. What are you doing, Chief? All right, I'm going to take the treachery here. Oh, Vivian Reed. Also one of my favorite cards in the cube. Kills very relevant floaty boys, like a Desecration Demon. Uh, kills irrelevant enchantments and artifacts. And she just draws you cards. How old is Hunter? Hunter's like nine years old. I've had two people come for maintenance and uh, like to buy something when I was selling something on Craigslist. Two people came by separately, completely different people, completely different times. And they were like, oh, he's just a puppy. And I'm like, no, he's like nine. No one knows how old Hunter is. It's unbelievable. I like Vivian Reed, but I think Sneak Attack could be good. Here's my problem with Sneak Attack. I don't think there's actually enough creatures in this cube to really take advantage of it. I've seen like three Eldrazi. I'm going to take Sneak Attack because maybe we're just blue-red. I don't know. He's literally just standing in the green screen right now. I think you can, if I take the event list off. Nope, can't see his bottom there. He does not act like he's nine years old, so I'm actually like, I always second guess it. And I've had him for like eight years. <laughs> so I'm just like, eh, I don't know, you don't seem that old. See, if we took the Vivian Reed, we could take the Draga Tree Speaker here, which is pretty OP. Actually, I have no idea what to take here. It's definitely not Bonfire. Uh, we 2-1 to the, 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 the Mono Green draft yesterday um, because our opponent just had, like, the, the better... I'm going to take Thirst for Knowledge here. When in doubt, thirst it out. That's, oh, God, we could have Tooth and Nail. Our green deck would be sick right now. I'm going to just... I, I think someone got me on the Sneak Attack train and... Uh, regrets were made, and now I'm just going to take the Karanos, I think. I think so. Never mind. Wow. Get wrecked. Hmm. Sphinx's revelation. Yeah, this sneak attack's not not cutting it right now. Jace Bellerin's a good dude. I also like Sphinx's rev. And there was a Clifftop Retreat and a Celestial Colony, I believe, in the first pack. In the last pack, so one of those might come back. Making the Sphinx's Rev an easy splash. Jace Bellerin. I actually think Sphinx's Rev is way more powerful than Jace Bellerin. When you tap out for a Jace Bellerin, usually, he usually just dies, unfortunately. Probably just Magma Jet. It's not Hellkite. It's not Sun Titan or Martial Coup. Yeah, I'll just take the Magma Jet. Theoretically, we want to have combos in this deck, so... Yep, this pack's pretty terrible for everybody. If we were green, we'd just take this. I mean, Sneak Attack plus Sun Titans... Is it is that sweet? Like, you get one attack with a Sun Titan, then it dies? I mean, it doesn't seem that great. I guess you get two things out of your graveyard, but what are you really getting in the... Uh... I guess it's Exquisite Firecraft, because there's nothing else in that pack. I'm just gonna take Fumarole here. Baylos is very good. I'm uh I'm regretting our our oh all right well our lands are good here. Sacred Foundry boys, where did, where did everything go? Okay, these are some nice late lands. I'm gonna take this guy. He's not great, but yep, Cliff Top came back. We're not gonna take Bane Slayer. I think Bane Slayer is great, but uh, it's double white. Not really where I want to be. Whatever. 
If the Bogart and Hellkite came back, I would have been thrilled, but not so much. Sun Titan did come back, so. I'll put it in the deck for now. We have two green fixing, two white fixing lands, so. Sparring Vantage, Mana War, Repeal. I like Repeal. I like Chromatic Lantern as well. It might just be Chromatic Lantern. Let's just play a turn three, turn four, uh, Karanos or Treachery. Mediocre Magic Man, thank you so much for the resub. Oh, hey, is this that button that people to press to get you to read stuff out loud? That is actually the button. Nailed it. Yeah, I think it's Chromatic Lantern here. I think it's probably better than these two, and I don't think anything else is really that comparable in this pack. Sort of Fire and Ice is a good dude. Kiki Jiki is actually probably what we want here. Because we are the perfect colors. If we get Resto, it's good. If we get uh, Pestermite, Deceiver, Exar, Exiles, Conscripts, sure. Kiki Jiki's the pick. That's your boy. It's your boy. Big Kikums, McJikums. Mm, Jace Architect the Thought is a good one. I don't care about Avalanche Riders or Stormbreath Dragon here. Teferi's a little mana tough. Sunbird, Sunbird's Invocation is interesting in this deck. Or in, in this cube, rather. I think I'm just going to go with the Jace here. I don't foresee us playing Sun Titan, I'll be honest. I think this is right in the middle, Jace. I think uh, Jace Bellerin's not great. I think this is the second best Jace. I think it goes Mind Sculptor, Architect, then Bellerin. The, the giving creatures Neg 1, Neg is pretty great. This is a late Jitte. This is a late disrespectful Jitte that I'm just tempted to take because it's that good. We have two creatures. One of them is Kiki G, one of them is a Karanos. Oh, I meant in this cube. I don't think it's anger. I just don't care about anger. I don't think I don't care about arc trail that much. I think we just want the Jitte. I think it's just powerful enough that if we start to get some creatures, it's pretty good. I'm not gonna play a double white flicker wisp in this deck. Like I'm barely splashing this off of two lands. Imperial Recruiter could be good if we start to get the uh Kiki Jiki pieces. And it holds a Jitte, so whatever. Bloodstain Mire could be good. Oh, Snapcaster's obviously the pick. Actually, a Johnny could be good too. Also, sneaking in Kiki Jiki is not uh, unreasonable. It saves you four mana if you already have sneak attack in play. Bloodstain Mire does get a red and a white, but it doesn't get a blue yet. I think we just want Snapcaster Mage. Johnny Vengeance is pretty good, though. We don't have a ton of things to hit with this. I'll just take the Johnny Vengeance. I like a Dissipate. I, I think I, I like a Remove Soul, too. I think I'm just going to take Dissipate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe, maybe that... Uh, maybe that Remove Soul comes back, huh? Whatever. I like Brightling, even though we're probably not playing it because of the white. Um, repeal? Yeah, I'll play a Repeal. Disallow? Yeah, I'll play a Disallow. I'm going to take Sunbird's Invocation. Oh, Arc Trail and Anger of the Gods. The two cards we were considering came back. So did Flicker Wisp. Why does this look like this? Why does it have a gray, a gray type box and a gray head box?
Everything we have right now, I'll probably play. Emrakul the Aeon's Torn. That's what we're looking for, boys. Inferno Titan, very, very good. But now we can just put the Sneak Attack in the deck. Take this Emrakul. Seems good. And a Deceiver Exarch. All right. Everybody's, everything's coming up Millhouse right now. I like a Phantasmal image. I like a Batter Skull if we happen to happen to run across a Stoneforge Mystic yet. Yet? I don't know what yet meant on the end of that one. Phantasmal image just seems good, though. I, I don't think we want Coalition. Like, we already have Chromatic Lantern. I don't think we want Relic and Lantern. Don't really think that's necessary. Especially with our abundance of three. Why does everyone think it's Relic? That's so weird. Relic, 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 Relic. Why do we want Relic and Lantern? If anyone can explain that to me, I would I would be curious as to the reasoning. I don't think it doubles the ramp. <laughs> I think it actually just ramps you one more. Look, we got Assemble the Legion. I'm pretty sure we're just taking Scalding Tarn, though. This is probably going to come back, to be quite honest. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Four cards are... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, three cards are coming back? We'll see. Oh, a Dismiss? I like a dismiss. Yeah, we're going hard on the control here. To cast spells, you dummy! Yeah, we can actually sneak in an Emrakul and then Phantasmal Image the Emrakul, which seems pretty insane. Because uh, then one of them dies and you only get to attack with one. This pack's pretty miserable. <laughs> Delta gets uh, just the blue. Okay. I still don't think we can take it in case we hit a... Um, what do you call it? Steam vents. Yeah, that's pretty much it, I guess. Oh, what we can do is actually attack with the Emrakul, uh, play Phantasm Image, copy the Emrakul, and then sacrifice the hey, the one that's going to die anyway, and then we get to keep one. So it's actually not terrible. It's not a terrible interaction, actually. The windswept got red white, but the polluted delta is actually on color for us. Ulamog. I mean, twenty cards is pretty good, and is this good enough? I mean, twenty cards is a lot, right? They're gonna have like nine cards in their deck. I think it's. I think it's fine. Ojitai came back. Oh, we did get the Stoneforge Mystic. Wow. Is that enough with one Jite? Like if the Batter Skull comes back, I'd be my I'd be my I'd be blown away. Oh god. Inferno Titan was one of the cards I really wanted to come back. I'm pretty thrilled it did. That is also a card that just gets insanely go to sneak attack. 
Yeah, I didn't think Batter Skull was coming back, unfortunately. Assemble came back. Ladies and gentlemen, our deck is looking great. Mm. History of Benalia or Angel of Invention? Probably Angel, just because it's good with sneaking it in. And we're not going to be playing either, so... Yeah, has anyone actually played an Inferno Titan? Can we really play Jitte? Probably not, actually. I think Jitte and Stoneforge do get cut. Like, we only have nine creatures, and two of them are not attacking. I don't think Sunbirds is probably going to make the cut. It's just not a card, like... It's a card you, you put in your deck, and you're like, I hope something cool happens. And then, like, if it doesn't, you're just like, oh, darn. Oh, Hollowed Spirit Keeper can come out for sure. I might just want Manic Vandal in the main deck. Or Forsake the Worldly, actually. This is actually decent, because, especially because you can... Um, what do you call it? Just cycle it if it's useless. Assemble the Legion is better than O-Ring in most packs. <laughs> Have you ever cast an Assemble the Legion? It wins you games. Is Karanos still good enough? When what in what world is Karanos not good enough? Why would Karanos not be good enough? That's crazy to me. Oh, assemble the Howies. You're right. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, dear Lord. I could see Sun Titan, but, like, our only cards that are actually going to be in the graveyard are, like, Imperial Recruiter, Phantasm Image. I guess Sun Titan, get back Phantasm Image, get back Sun Titan, get back Imperial Recruiter, or Deceiver Exarch could be decent. I think Brightling is super good, but Double White is not where I want to be. We have three ways to fix White, and I don't know if we want a Planes in the deck. Probably we'll put a Planes, but... I think it might just be Sun Titan. Like, because of Phantasmal Image, and Chromatic Lantern is good, too. Alright, so this this is going to be what we're going to do. Six, seven, eight, nine. No. Maybe. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Let's see if this is correct. I might actually cut one for one. Yeah, I think we can go nine. Like, we have a lot of double blue. Like, a lot of double blue. Double blue, double blue, double blue. We want, we want these on three and four. And five and four. Uh, which is more important than these two being the only red cards that we want double four. So we, now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten blue sources and one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's ten, nine. And for white, we have we have a planes in case they path us or in case we have to search for it or whatever. One, two, three. Scalding tarn is four, five. Should be fine. Yeah, this is only going to search for an island, so there's just no re real reason to have it. Like, it's just worse than... It's just an island that you take damage. We don't have any reason to shuffle our deck, so... We 
Ooh, we get to play first? Exciting. Oh, definitely keep this. And now we get to bounce uh, their one drop that they play on turn two. We're going to run this out there because I think it's better than keeping up Disallow on turn two. This stuff, this hand does look like a, like a gas, as you would say. I agree with you. And they didn't do anything, so get rewarded. And now we have all the white mana in the world. Looks like we made it. Okay. Well. That was a good draw. I just want to keep hitting lands. So the moment we don't hit lands is the moment we Sphinx's Rev, which is probably next turn. I can see drawing three. Look at all that green and black mana. That is correct. It is a lot of green and black mana. We are Golgari F. Boom, 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 boom. Actually, there's no real pressure here, right? Let me just pass. They played an island. I'm not comfortable with that. God, we're still we're still doing it. We're still living the dream here. Gotta draw three. Gotta get greedy. Yeah, you're probably right. Do we just slam this guy? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we can wait till eight and then we can just play Inferno Titan, Inferno Titan. Like, we're in no rush here. I think we're going to Sphinx's his rev here. Alright, hope they don't get us. We're not playing around days or forcing up. Alright. Oh my fucking god. Literally said it. Literally said it. We're not going to play around this. <sighs> so dumb, dude. <laughs> Why? 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 All we had to do was play it for one less. I mean, the cost of that is drawing one less card, though, so who really wants to do that? Wow. That is commitment right there. We're also two mana away from just hard casting Emrakul. I don't really see a reason to attack with Wandering Fumeral here. I do want to Magma Jet and try to, uh... Well, it would have been a Sphinx's Revelation for three cards. Because we would have had, uh, we had, we did it for four. So we would have done it for three. If we can just hit a sneak attack here, we're in good shape, right? Um... I'm gonna bottom both of these, because it's just not that exciting. If we hit lands, that's cool. If we hit other spells, that's also cool. So. Alright, we're one shy. Like, we want to keep our peel up in case they play something. We've got four, five, six, seven. We can, we can bounce anything for eight. So we want to keep, like, if they have a six drop, we can just bounce it. 
Thunder is now. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. What's the button to... Oh, is it W? Okay, I think they changed it to W. This is my... Oolamogams. I imagine you're going to do a thing. I have no idea what's in their deck. They have eight cards in their hand. I guess nothing. <laughs> I guess Hardcast Oolamog win the game. Seems good. What did we see? We saw Four Spike, Nahiri, and uh, what was the last card? I can't think of it. Supreme Verdict. That's correct. Yeah, I literally can't think of a single thing we want to bring in based on those three cards. So, Yeah, they had seven mana, seven cards, no plays. Spaghetti. Somebody touch my spaghetti. Somebody touch my spaghetti. How does mission briefing work with archive trap? Is it's if it's is it's alternate trap cost usable if archive trap is in the graveyard trap? Ah, that's a good question. So, so Mission Briefing says you may cast that card. Wow, that card's so much worse now that you have to pay the mana cost. That's... F card's garbage. If an opponent searches her library this turn, you may pay zero rather than pay Archive Trap's mana cost. I'm pretty sure you can still pay zero for it as long as they searched. Yikes, this hand seems bad. The Mike Hypothesis. Happy Thursday, buddy. Happy Chicken Sunday. This is better. We have very few artifacts, so uh, Thirst for Knowledge is usually draw three discs. Uh, Tatekai, um, I'm not positive, though. It's just, f from the from the way they're written, it makes sense, because you are casting the spell, and uh, Archive Trap does say you may pay zero rather than pay its spells, its mana cost. So, it is an alternate cost for the spell, and it, there's no reason why you wouldn't be able to pay the alternate cost. Wow, that's a bad draw. Well, it's nice that we can actually discard both of these. Is that nice? I don't know. We're just going to draw a Sacred Foundry here. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, because it doesn't say you may pay that spell. You may cast that spell for its mana cost or something. It's just saying you're, ca you're literally just casting the spell from the graveyard. Yeah, now we get to give up Thirst and Disallow, which is pretty good. Having zero white, I'm not really... Uh... Taiga? What's even happening right now? No, nah, that's a good one. All right, now we're probably going to keep uh, Assemble the Legion because if we, hey, if we hit a white source off of Thirst, we're just going to play the the Assemble next turn. I think we're getting rid of Sun Titan and Phantasmal Image here. 
Actually, Sun Titan and Repeal is probably better. Phantasmal Image is very, very good. Gideon Jura. Well, that is problematic. I wish we thirst for knowledge and hit a force spike, but we don't have a force spike in our deck, so. Alright, Sacred Foundry. Um, let's discard an island and a Sun Titan. I hope they pack of negation this and then they just die because they don't have double island. <laughs> they just spoiled the best cutie ever. All right, let's look at this cutie that they just spoiled. Affectionate Indrik. Oh my god. Hold on. I'm going to try to show it on this on the stream here. Here you go. Affectionate cutie. Oh my god, there's kitty cats in the image and everything. I can't. What do they do? Sneak attack? Alright, well, that's good. What's even happening? What is this deck? Yikes. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can bounce this. We can bounce this. So they don't have anything in hand, otherwise they would have just played it with the the red. They would have went one, two, three, f four, and then used the red. So clearly that's not what's happening here. I'm just gonna hold this guy back. If they want to attack, with, I don't think one damage is worth getting getting nugged by Gideon when they could have some nonsense in their hand. I mean, this is a much different match when they where they have Celestial Colonnade, Gideon, and Sneak Attack. They can also go one, two, three, four, five. Activate Colonnade, activate Sneak Attack, and pretty much, yep, very close to what's happening. All right, no sneak attack yet. We're definitely bouncing this Gideon. That's not the bad. What does that get? Nothing. I think we just want to keep dismiss up. We could actually go Imperial Recruiter, uh, Phantasmal Image, Imperial Recruiter to get Kiki Jiki and Deceiver Exarch, but one, two, three, five. We need one more land to make that work. We would go Deceiver Exarch, untap a land, Kiki Jiki. And it, because it's not, like, we would, they would just replay Gideon and force us to attack the Gideon if that happened, so. Not ideal. Whereas now we're probably on, like, a two turn clock because of this Celestial Colony, unfortunately. I have a feeling they drew this. Maybe. No, maybe not. Yep, they're just firing this bad boy up. We really need a way to deal with that. If we had we I guess we can get we can get I'd like to hit a land so we can keep up to Seaver Exarch. And then we can tap their their colonnade. It's either this or a Johnny Vengeance just shooting them for three, so.
It might have been a Johnny Vengeance. That might have been the correct play. I mean, I wish we had an extra mana here, because if they do have Force Spike, it's pretty bad. Which which a Johnny does play around. Which I don't think if they had, I think if they had Force Spike, they probably would have just been, they would have just fired it off. Also, this order is better because a Johnny does tap down. Like, once the colony is tapped down from Exarch, then we can keep it tapped down with the Johnny. So, kind of a... Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we're still going to tap out and <clears throat> tap down the colony here. If they had Force Spike, they would have just won. Snake attack? No. Land. Alright. I accept. <clears throat> I'm only attacking with three because I don't want to die to, uh, if they have a way to, uh, if they have an attacker that they sneak in, I don't really want to have to block with Exarch. I feel like I'm in one land behind every turn. Because now they can play Gideon, which is fine. One, two, three, four, five. They have two mana up. Three if they want to crack this. We make five gentlemen from Assembled Legion. Sure. Like Gideon's not a card I wanted to counter anyway because we can deal with it. It's it's it, it's just that prevents us from doing things for a turn. Copy recruiter to Kikijiki, recruiters in the graveyard. If we did that the other turn, we would have died to their colonnade, so we actually didn't have a chance to do that. We had to get Deceiver Exarch, and we had to keep Deceiver Exarch mana up. Uh, target permit is on tap. Nothing we can do here, right? All creatures have to attack Gideon? Sure. All right, we have no blockers. Yeah, we're just playing this so we can block with... Uh... And then we still get to keep up uh, Dismiss and Force Spike payment. I mean, if they top the click an Emrakul and they sneak in an Emrakul, like, shrug. But, I mean, otherwise we went on board, so... Nothing. All right. Okie dokie. Well, this is fascinating. <sighs> 
Searing Spear or Face. You have two cards left in hand. This is fascinating. Is there a creature they can play that I... Is there, like, an ability they have? If they sneak attack... So here's the thing. If they sneak attack an Inferno Titan, we're dead, right? But we would have been dead anyway because they would have snuck it in and attacked with it. Alright, I'm going to go to one and assume that doesn't kill me. Woo! Yeah, so if we countered the Searing Spear, they could have kicked this and it would have killed us. So as long as we didn't die... Yep, that would have done it too. Alright, our deck is sweet. Never didn't have it. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if the last opponent was in the chat. I mean, you know. I mean, if they were watching the chat and then they still lost, like, that's something. Yeah, we'll keep this hand. This seems fine. Well, this tells me that they first showed up at 1655, which would be 455. So, uh, 455, when was that? Probably like a little, a little into our second game. No, like three minutes before our first game ended, I guess. Because it was eight, it was 13, it's about 13 minutes ago. So into our second game, I guess. Either way. It's really weird when you join someone's stream who's playing against you. Like, it's so it's so friggin' weird, man. Like, just don't do it because there's no reason to. If you join my stream when we're playing when I'm playing against you, like I'm just gonna assume you're doing it to cheat because you don't know how to win games of magic without doing that. And sometimes you don't know how to win games of magic while doing that, so I'm just gonna have to make that assumption. Boston makes me feel good. The screen keeps moving? Oh, Hunter's there. Like, yeah, Hunter's moving the screen. He's super uh, rambunctious, let's say. Is that Abe Froman, the Sausage King of Chicago? Uh, the one card people most ask me to sign, it's either it's either Gutshot or a bunch of, uh, like, just cards that they know I like, like Ashiok, Mystic Snake, Cryptic Command, like a lot of a lot of cards that uh, have become my pet cards. They'll ask me to sign, which is cool, because it shows that they also like those cards. Pardon my French. 
Yeah, I don't actually get asked to sign that many gut shots anymore. I mean, it was three years ago. You know, it was a while ago. Yep, you got it. All these all these creatures are not super threatening. Bustin, bustin, bustin. I'm just gonna discard two lands here because I think that's fine. Tarn only gets Sacred Foundry, right? So that's just an island at this point. We'll discard these two. Oh, where were you? If you are one closer. I'm just going to keep up Repeal and Dismiss. In the next turn, I'm pretty sure the, uh, the Mono Black deck has a hard time with Assemble the Legion. That's my guess. Oh, I would love to put Hunter on stream more, but he doesn't stop moving. He is a uh, he's a he's a very uh, very uh, energetic boy. Well, that's pretty good. Oh boy, we're getting. I think we just keep this miss up. Actually. We're going to assemble the Legion. I'm not really afraid of what they can do because they're a black deck. So if they play a creature, we can just treachery it and then keep Dismiss up. And that's pretty insane. Uh, we're going to save our Dismiss in case they have something like Massacre Arm. Unless, unless what they play wins the game. Uh, I don't foresee us playing a Dismiss. Bustin' makes me feel good. Sky babies in flight, afternoon delight. Well, that's pretty good. That is not a card I thought I'd see here. It is also not a creature. Hmm. Well, let's lantern it up. Take a little, take a few hits here. Take our lumps. They also can't actually crew it right now. Hmm. I don't think I care about that. Sky rockets in flight. Afternoon delight. Alright, we're going to do this because we have to start digging deeper to deal with this floaty boy. And they have to crew with both now. Alright, that's not what we wanted. Treachery gives us what? Nothing. Emrakul one time would be nice. Treachery steal the Hangerback Walker into an Emrakul. Makes them sack all their lands, I guess? Hmm. So long, little gentleman. Boop, boop. Bustin' makes me feel good. One, two, three, four. A Johnny Vengeant knocking down the door. Do you ever play Gristlebrand? What does that mean? I mean, if I have Gristlebrand, if I draft him, I'll play him. I don't understand your question. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna lock you down. Lock him down. I'm gonna keep this land in hand because I don't wanna get him to Torah. Karakong, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. Always appreciate it. Because Frank has a good use to spend my student loan. <laughs> I accept. From one from one person with student loan debt to another, I appreciate your usage of student loan. It's like your student loan is paying for my student loan debt. So it's almost like the cycle continues. God, Johnny coming through. Like a champ. Okay, that's fine. Johnny goes to two here. And we get three tokens next turn. This is gonna... Hopefully we have enough time. 
Oh god, don't kill this guy too, then Johnny dies, and then we're... Don't do it. Don't do it. Have some class. Sorry in a modern tournament. Hey man, you do you. Okay, we did it. Okay, we did it. We really did it. We're living the dream. Emrakul off the tippity top. That's an arc trail. Do 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 do. It's not bad. Hundred percent doing that. I think we're stealing this. Liliana flips to a three, and then we can kill Liliana. That's actually very good. I feel like that they could have killed our last. All right. Yeah, maybe we don't kill it then. What were the non-token creatures like Sol, Harris, and Buff? Yeah, if you create a two-two zombie, so we can't kill Liliana. I think we just have infinite blockers, which is nice. Hello, streamer Mike and chat Mike. What's going on, Mike is five? Always. That's a dude. Would not have minded treachering that guy. I actually didn't realize we were eight life. That's not a lot. I guess we'll go to six here. Looking for an Emrakul. This guy's actually not terrible because we have a million permanents to sacrifice, so. What can you return? You can return a gifted Aetherborn. We can each discard a card, which is why we kept the Clifftop Retreat in hand. Okay, you're just getting gifted Aetherborn back. Sure. So now we can actually shoot Liliana and shoot the zombie, which is nice. That takes care of two threats with one with one threat stone. Lucky, 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 lucky. So we're gonna deal two to you, deal one to you. Actually, hold on, so what do we have? One, two, three, four, f five, one, two. Yep, we have enough, okay. Red red Thank you. you don't untap to take guy, thank you so much for the sub really appreciate it welcome welcome one two three four sneakums make attack so we'll just play with cliff top treats so we can pump this guy next turn we can double block here and we'll just sack five tokens that's not a big deal at all Do we just win if we alpha? They can block two. They'll block this and this. They'll take 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and they would gain two. So that would actually be three shy here. This is me when I heard about someone ghost thing. <laughs> Guys, no word. 
That's pretty good. All right, six swamps down the drain. That actually puts us in pretty good shape. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're... Uh, they also go to seven. Which means, like, if we can wipe their board, a Johnny Vengeant alone wins the game. That's cool. Shuffle that graveyard. I can't imagine you have uh, a card that really does the job here. Yep. Two, three... I will gladly sacrifice five permanents. We could have also just taken it, too. Oh, this triggers first because it's our... Yeah, that's pretty good. Yep, and that's the end. All right. Good good deck, good game, good life. <sighs> Forsake the Worldly definitely coming in. Manic Vandal coming in, too. They have Hangerback Walker and they have Floaty Ship. Yeah, wipe their butt. Board. Board. Could you say hi to my girlfriend, Chloe? She's a big fan. Chloe, hi. How are you? Glad, glad to uh, be a, a fan of. What the hell does that mean? Glad to be a fan of. This guy write his own material? It's terrible. Um, I don't know what to take out here. I always wanted to find a place for that Liliana mod. Yeah, but she's really weak. Like, three toughness and also, like... A one of your creatures has to die, so you have to have a creature in play. Your creature has to die. There's a lot of things that need to go right. For that, um... That... I'm gonna take the Sun Titan out. That dude's a piece of junk. And I'll just play it like this. I'll, I'll do 41. What if... What if Reaper's Man lied? What if Reaper's Fist lied and there was no Chloe? She just, she just made that up. That's painful. This hand seems great, though. Easy discard to Thirst if we don't hit the, uh, you know, the old uh, sneak attack. I have a girlfriend, too, named Chloe. Yeah, she doesn't go to this school. You wouldn't know her. She goes to a different school. Wow. What an absolute monster. Damn, you caught me. Unbelievable. I knew it. That's so like you. How dare you how dare you uh take Chloe's name in vain? All right, Sulphur falls off the top, and we are good to go. Play a dumb artifact. Yeah, I don't care about that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now we can Thirst. I like a good Thirst. I'm tempted to discard Kiki Jiki Emrakul. Or Manic Vandal. But if we discard Manic Vandal, and then just go play Boat, and it's just like, oh, man, not a Boat. Anything but a Boat. Chloe's busy being a bikini model. She's not around much. Yeah, you know, you gotta you know, take those job opportunities when you can. Ophios Mancer. Can I get a... Uh, can, I, can a brother get an arc trail? Oh, I think it's actually Lantern here. We don't actually need the Lantern. That's good. That's That was a good hit. Can a brother get an arc trail now? Okay, well, you don't have to be... You don't have to be a jerk about it. I probably just want a Scalding Tarn to get a mountain, because we need a mountain. And we're just going to keep Dismiss up here. 
If we play a Johnny and we kill this, uh, we just it just dies too. Yeah, it's fine. If we play a Johnny and kill this, it just dies to uh, this guy. So. That's a lot of damage. Look at all this damage. They're just like, I'm not going to play anything. Because I'm ghosting. All the value in the world. Boop him. Whoa! It's all happening! Oof, now we just get to keep up disallow? Boy. What a time to be alive. Give me my snake. Also, this guy's very good against the black deck, which has things like such hits as Necrotal. I like that if Chloe's real, this check out real Chloe centric real fast. I, were they going to play Necrotal and they're like, dang it, it doesn't kill that gentleman? I'm going to disallow that. I like my snake lord. Plus, like, this is a deck where I don't want to keep counter spells in my hand for too long because I have things to do. I got things to do. Nope, don't want to do that. Uh, I'll block here, and then I'll just get more snakes in the future. Future snakes, what can you do about my snaky boys? JC boy. I'm just going to reveal here. If you kill Jace, I'm like, sure, it's a three for one. Because I'm always going to take the... <gasps> oh my god. Take it. Taking it. And that was how the game ended, ladies and gentlemen, with the two-card combo known as Emrakul the Ant's Torn and a Sneak Attack. Yep, that's what I figured. So, two for one. Got a Sneak Attack. I want to attack with you because I'm not blocking with you by any by any stretch of the imagination. Hope you got a him to Torok and it hits both of these or just one of these. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the six permanent to kill. <laughs> Pretty sneaky, sis. Okay, we did it. That's all you need to see. Is our deck good? Our deck feels good. I think we're very good at this thing called cube. Crazy little thing called cube. first. I don't like this hand with one little landy boy. Alright, this is fine. It's not great. This is not a good hand by any stretch, but I don't... I, it, we're one piece away from hitting uh, hitting Emrakul boy, which is pretty strong. And we have two lands, so we get to do Arc Trail and maybe disallow if we hit any other land, so... Yep, that was a good hit.
Hunter AJ. Oh, man, it is Hunter. I see you, sneaky boy. Okay. You got it. Ooh, fascinating. Kithian. That's fine because we have an arc trail. Yep. Looking for love in all the wrong places. But then the next threat, they, they play sticks, unfortunately. Why is this a sorcery? No one. Um, dreaming lands. Lands, lands would be nice for the dick. Yeah, do 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 do. Well, that's getting countered. Yeah, sort of fire and ice against the blue red deck. Probably not what you want to see. Oh, oh, oh. If you have a counter spot, I'd be amazingly surprised that you didn't let the sword resolve. Wow, Reaper's Fist, you are a monster. That's my fictitious girlfriend. Rare Chemex, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Oh, God. Back to another oh, God. oh God. Okay. Uh, wanted to... Got a big fan. Big ha big fan has been called. Big fan. Huge. What do you blink here? Do you blink this? Because it doesn't matter, but you just want to be like, I'm going to blink your thing. Blink your land? That makes sense. That's a solid strategy. Oh, yeah, there we go. Looking for love in all the wrong places. Oh, I love that I don't have to crack this. That is a... That is a spicy meatball. Do you kill it in response? Do it. Let it die. Because alternatively, we would have taken four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. Resolves. Well then. Well, butter my biscuits. Oh, this seems worse. This also means we can play Deceiver Exarch, uh, tap down their their only creature to attack, so they don't get counters anymore. And then if we draw Sneak Attack or Kiki Jiki, we're in good shape. We can also just play Sun Titan if this guy dies. They gonna counter this? Ooh, they did have the remove soul, you sneaky biscuit. Any land we can play Sun Titan, otherwise we can play Karanos. And we go to next turn. This we take six, but we stay to four, and they have one card in hand. Oh, they're gonna Okay. Well, what is this? One, two. We go to one now. 
So, oh, no. No, we're dead on board if we don't draw something good. Well, actually, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, if they don't let us, if they, we can just get Imperial Recruiter and find something. Oh. Oh, that's very good. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We can't actually play this untapped, though, unfortunately. What did they take? What was the other card? Karanos. Karanos is a good one. Because then they just move this over and attack us for eight, which is rough. So I think it's just Imperial Recruiter. Oh, we can Imperial Recruiter for a uh, Phantasmal image, but then it just dies. Suntan, yeah, Suntan gets a Deceiver, but that doesn't do anything. They just kill us in the air. That's, that's not good. If they kill this guy, it's four, five, six, seven, eight. So we go to two, and they'd be in top deck mode. Let's see what we have here. I think it's literally just Phantasm Phantasmal Image Kiki G. Yeah, those are our only options. Um, so they kill this. One, two, three, four, five, six. We go to two. It's not terrible. Yeah, we just actually get Phantasmal Image and play it, and then, then Sun Titan. Yeah, this is fine. You just kill this guy in response. That's fine. We'll just copy one of your other guys. But then they have no counters, so we only take six. Oh, all right, cool. All righty, then. This also thins our deck some, so if we, uh, if we have the possibility to hit a... Um, I think I'll just move this over and attack us for eight. If the, if we have the possibility to draw a sneak attack, it's good. But then they just they sack six lands, I guess. Yep, kill that dude. Yep, both dead. We take six, we go to four, and nothing. Oh, that's a thing, isn't it? Hello! Plus we have a Kiki Jiki in hand to, uh... To smash. Like, this actually trades here, but that's fine. <laughs> if you had a creature, you would have played it. I guess you could have, like, Oblivion Ring or something. You could just have lands, too. Alright, planes is good. Leaves one card. You have to attack, and we have to block. Those are... That's life. That's fine. Yep. We have to blow. God, Remorseful Cleric. Why? You... Stop playing these flying guys. Yep. Arr. Why didn't you equip the Jitte to flyer and swing? Because it just came out. It just came into play. And if they, you're talking about the Vendelian Collect, it would have been eight points, not ten. So neither of those things work the way you want them to. So we can go Sun Titan into Phantasm Image. Copy this guy. It still doesn't do it, though. 
into Phantasmal Image, into Deceiver Exarch, which taps it, but that doesn't do anything. Wow, so close. Yeah, so needless to say, Forsake and Manic Vandal definitely come in in this match. I mean, copying this is great, but then they just kill it with the Jitte and they still have five power on board. Yeah, Kiki Titan next turn is super cool, but um, dying next turn is uh, is less cool, so. Jitte has two counters. The Remorseful Cleric has one counter, which is why that's on top. Uh... Three, four, five. We can't copy anything. We can play Sun Titan, get back to Seaver Exarch. Untap something? Oh, God. Is there nothing we can do here? The funny thing is, if it wasn't a Phantasmal Image, if, if, it, if it didn't die... Maybe they don't see it? I don't know. Yep. Still five in the air, right? Yeah, that's pretty good. Alright, well... <laughs> wow. Next card, Magma Jet, because of course it is. I mean, I guess that doesn't really matter. Uh, what are we cutting? Sun Titan seems kind of trash. Um, other than that, I think it's fine. Yeah, I can see cutting a symbol. I don't think it's super good. That match was still super close, so I don't feel terrible about it. Like, we were literally one turn away from multiple different things, so. What can you do? Yeah, Jute is not a reasonable magic card. Didn't we also like mulligan to Oblivion last game? Yeah, this hand's good. I'm not sure. We did mulligan to six and it was kind of iffy, right? Yeah, that seems fine. Manic Vandal and Opener seems pretty OP. Deal. That's a good deal. Crutch Jr., I'm pretty good. How about yourself? So 
So we can actually just play Deceiver Exarch, tap down their Colonnade. I kind of like that. If they have Remove Soul, it's rough. Of course they have it. Lucky, 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 lucky. Well, that's rough because we actually don't have Sun Titan anymore, so we have no way to get to see Rex Target out of the graveyard, to my knowledge. But here's hoping that we can fix that and just not care. Watch, they don't play a single equipment this game. Give me that give me that artifact one time. You're gonna counter this? Yikes. Mm, that's fine, I guess. <sighs> not not going very well. This is probably the most aggressive deck we've faced, and also one of our least aggressive draws as well, so. We'll take five here. We can actually Wandering Funeral and block. That's pretty cute. I think we just want to pass here. Drawing something like Inferno Titan is pretty insane. Try again. Try, try again. We are one man away from actually activating this and dissipating, which is pretty brutal. Yeah, no. We're just going to take another five. Hopefully we don't have sword to kill us, I guess. All right. Go to four. Seems good. I mean, not great, but... The problem is if we counter this, we're still taking a million. Like, they still just activate this. Yeah, we're just dead. This match was rough. Yeah, if they hit land, they can just go activate Colony of Attackers for seven. So that's pretty bad. Yep. Oh! Oh, wow. Still alive. Less alive. Still alive. Huh. That Deceiver Exarch in the graveyard, man. We also don't have a second white for Sun Titan, so. And this Manic Vandal just stuck in our hand. Kind of funny. It's not stuck there. You could play it anytime you like. Ew. I guess that's a good point. I guess I could do that. I'm 
pretty sure if you're just attacking with that guy, I'm taking it. Play a sword and a jete. That would be so sick. Vandal, copy Vandal. Kill them both. That's not a sword or a jete. Ugh, gross. What are you, flicker whisping kiki jiki? I don't know what that does. You should blink one of your own guys so then you get another bolster trigger. Well, this is unfortunate. Yeah, we're just gonna go to the we're just gonna go to the go to the next game, which doesn't exist. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Two one, not too bad. Our deck was good, I think. And uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Patreon and on Twitch if you're watching on YouTube. You can uh, check the links in the description below. A uh, little, little as a dollar a month is super supportive. If you guys have not done so, check out the most recent Frank Thoughts on Patreon. It's about the uh, the best removal spell I've ever printed called Assassin's Trophy. I did a 15-minute podcast on that. Uh, so hopefully you guys can check that out. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.